The Minister for Justice, Helen McEntee, has recently published the Government's Plan on Civil Justice Efficiencies and Reform Measures. The plan provides welcome guidance for clients on how the Civil Justice Review Group recommendations will be implemented over the next three years on a phased basis. The plan provides for a complex and ambitious programme of reform measures that will necessitate the enactment of new primary legislation and new rules of court. In essence, the plan provides for the overhaul of the civil litigation landscape in Ireland. The five key reforms that will increase the efficiency of the operation of the courts for dispute resolution are as follows. Firstly, the plan provides for new rules of court to be introduced that will require parties to plead their case with much greater precision. A single originating document, called a claim notice, will be introduced across all courts of first instance to replace the various documents which now exist. Secondly, the plan contemplates automatic discontinuance of dormant cases, which will avoid parties being locked in litigation for too long. Thirdly, a new system for multi-party actions will be introduced that will be somewhat similar to the group litigation orders in the UK and provide better structure to ensure an efficient resolution of similar claims. Fourthly, the current discovery rules will be replaced with a new set of rules that will better regulate the entitlement of parties to another party's documents before trial. Fifthly, parties seeking judicial review of the decisions of public bodies will need to establish substantial grounds for the review, which should help reduce the number of speculative claims and avoid delays in the implementation of decisions by public bodies. The plan also contemplates the commissioning of an economic analysis on litigation cost control measures. However, there is no immediate proposal to legislate for litigation funding outside of the insolvency arena, pending the delivery of the Law Reform Commission's report on that topic, which is eagerly awaited. We do expect, arising from the plan, increased investment in the court service infrastructure and in technology that will facilitate better access to the courts for clients, which will be particularly beneficial for international litigation. We will continue to monitor the implementation of the government's plan, which we look forward to becoming a reality for all of our clients.